Welcome to another episode of the Recorder family. You've been introduced to the desk and, and treble recorders and today we're meeting the tenor recorder. It seems as though these recorders are growing bigger all the time. You have learned that the desk and recorder is 32 centimeters and the treble 45 centimeters long. I wonder if Anyone can guess how long the tenor recorder is? Let's see if you were close. The tenor recorder is 65 centimeters long. This is quite a big, big instrument. Look at the distance between these holes. I'm sure some of your fingers can't even reach to cover these holes. Have you noticed something else on the recorder that you haven't seen before? Here it is, the key extension. It is impossible for my fingers to reach the bottom holes and that is why they have added an extension. Now that we are able to close all the holes, let's hear what the tenor recorder sounds like. Would you agree? It has quite a low pitch. I love these warm sounds of the lower register. Just listen again. And you know what? I really, really love the lighter sounds of the upper register. Listen to this. Do you know which note the tenor recorder starts on? Remember, the desk can start it on C. And the treble started on F. Well, the tenor recorder also starts on a C. However, this C is an octave below the desk and recorder's C. We also call it an octave below middle C. The word octave means eight notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Eight notes. Who can guess what voice part will play with a tenor recorder? If you guess tenor, you're correct. Would you like to hear what the tenor voice sounds like? Let me play something and you can listen. <laughs> Did you notice that the tenor recorder's fingering is exactly the same as the desk and recorder? It just sounds an octave lower. Let's listen to the same hymn, but this time I will play the melody. Now, let's listen to the desk and recorder playing the same melody. The tenor recorder should not be limited to him playing only. However, whatever you play on the desk end can also be played on the tenor recorder. When we play the tenor part from the hymnal, we would read from the bass clef. However, when playing music written for the tenor recorder, we would read from the treble clef. 
In this episode, we will listen to Peter playing the Bury from Handel's Fireworks Suite, written for the tenor recorder. Till next time, ciao! Thank <laughs> you.